I made it. <laughs> I made it. 30 days straight of vlogging and I made it. After how long it's been without any activity on my channel, I don't know. Now I'm gonna have to look because that's what happens. Pulling up Chrome, going to YouTube, Extra Life 2014! Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh man! So, two and a half years! Two and a half years of nothing and 30 straight days of videos. Okay, some have been two in one day because of the ridiculous hour I have done this a lot. But we are here. It is done. We have things on the channel. I feel good. I feel really good. Hello everyone, my name of course is Artemis and welcome to the final day of Vita 2017 vlog every day of April. And it's done! It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. It's done. Wow, it's done. Like I said uh, a couple days ago, it has been nice putting up fresh content all the time, and I don't want to lose doing that. We are going to see some slowdown, but that's just because more animal interruptions. That's just because I want to make sure I have things recorded and produced well for you guys. Now going forward, I want to really step up the quality of my videos here. I found a very cheap piece of software that I was somewhat familiar with to just get these done. And while I did purchase some new software recently that should be relatively easy to use and allow me to do a little more, I didn't want to jump into something unfamiliar when I'm often editing these and throwing them on YouTube just before I'm supposed to be going to bed so I can wake up to work in the morning. I was having enough struggles with my familiar software, but we'll definitely see how this changes. Now, as I said, uh, some of this is going to be a case of I'll be bringing in video from events or photos as I go along. You'll have to be a little patient because right now my hardware for that is my phone, the BlackBerry DTAC 50. It's, it's suitable, it's just not ideal eventually I do want to look into something to take places to get decent video I'll borrow some cameras from friends but in the end I want to look into getting something that does this well now this isn't me asking for money at this point uh, if I'm finding that I'm growing well and you guys are really liking my stuff I'll think about starting a patreon and maybe we can ensure that content gets done more regularly primarily I will intend to use the money for anything such as if I think I'm large enough to bother with a website, hosting fees, uh, any hardware directly related to my content projects. And my first priority though, is just going to be a big time saver for me, and that's going to be hiring an editor. So if that's something I can look into with any sort of costs, that's where it's going to go. Or if somebody out there is willing to volunteer to edit for me. I would really appreciate that and I can give you access to the software that I have in regards to that. Or if you have something you're more familiar with and prefer using, I'm flexible. This coming week, we're probably not gonna see any content. Uh, it will happen at the beginning of the following week. As I did mention yesterday, I've got a short work week, but there's just things during the week to take care of. Uh, there will be my, of course, Infinity Game Night on Tuesday. There's house hunting for a place to rent with some people, so a dog has a yard. There's a Magic League at Board Game Central taking place going forward starting Wednesday that I want to get into, get me back into Magic, especially since I missed the Amonkhet pre-release. And on the weekend, we're just ridiculously busy. And I want to make sure I get content from this weekend to show to you guys. After this weekend, we'll probably start buckling down on recording some of the Let's Play, Let's Play work. I'm going to start planning a bi-weekly painting stream. So that way, I can get some of these no longer just gray. I've had this one sitting on my desk to remind me of that shelf you see up behind me, right here. See all that? That's all unpainted models for the most part. That's not even everything I have that's unpainted, so I've got to buckle down. I'm thinking since I keep meaning to do so and not quite getting to it, I'm going to start off with the Onyx Contact Force box for Infinity. Then we'll see what uh, other projects might come up. Maybe I'll run into an Escalation League. I know that one's going on through the O12 Fight Club group on Facebook. They are a uh, Ontario, or at least Southern Ontario-wide group. 
I'll look into them if you have any interest. Maybe a call to arms will get announced at Black Knight. Maybe I'll just see something new that tickles my fancy. So with that in mind, I want to thank everyone who's gone with me through this journey, especially everyone who's watched every day, or those of you who are currently binging or taking periods of time to catch up on the project as it's gone, just deciding when you're ready for it. I want to thank those of you who have interacted, uh, including my guests Kaylee and Angie, and of course uh, Sir Canadian for his regular interjections. I want to thank my animals for providing the adorable appeal, and I want to thank you all for your coming patience as I keep this up in a form. Projects will be expanding, uh, people might be needed, so let me know if you have any interest and what you're enjoying and what you're not. And hopefully the serious topics don't get to be too bothersome for you, but more of those will be coming too. So with that in mind, everyone, thanks again. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will talk to you very soon.